morning, Harvest. Let's go ahead and stand. Let's sing. Morning, Rachel. Morning, Brayden. Morning, Brian. I don't see you standing up yet. There we go. Let's go ahead and put our hands together and let's praise the Lord. church uh we've got our time of announcements now and so every day we start off by saying uh, we would love for you to fill out a connection card and so um the ushers are about to walk down the aisles and start passing out the connection card booklets so uh, please take those take one of those and pass it down well actually take it take a pen and fill it out first and let us know that you're here let us know how we can pray for you and then pass it down the aisle so everyone else can do the same. We truly do love to know that you're here so we can pray for you, and then tell us what we can pray specifically about. And we have a group that meets every Wednesdays to pray over these and, and uh, pray requests and pray praises to the Lord because of what's going on in your life. So we would love to pray for you. Let us know you're here, and uh, let us know how we can pray for you. Well, um, let me pull up on my phone the announcements because I'm not supposed to be doing these today, but uh, Jared was sick, so 
pray for him. But, <laughs> um, but yeah, so let's walk through some announcements. Um, first off, we've got Compass Care Walk for Life is coming up. Um, this is an amazing event that we love to participate in because um, that is not the announcements. All right, I'm just going to wing it here. Um, we've got uh, Walk for Life. This is a, a led by Compass Care that basically Compass Care is a ministry, a, an organization uh, that just helps women who are going through crisis pregnancies. And, uh, and so it's an amazing organization that we love to support. Um, and so, especially as a church that believes in the sanctity of life and that each person is made in the image of God. And so, we want to raise funds for Compass Care and the amazing work that they do for uh, women in our community who are going through crisis pregnancies. And so, um, we basically, this event is you show up and you uh, walk to raise money for uh, this organization, and so we encourage you to sign up and walk, um, or you can sign up to just donate money as well. Um, that is all, all the details for that are in our Harvest Happenings email that goes out every Friday, so look for the details on there, sign up, walk, um, donate. The kicker here is that it's next Saturday. Is that date right? Saturday, May 6th? I think Saturday, May 4th. There we go, May 4th. Yeah, <laughs> uh, so um, Saturday, May 4th, this upcoming Saturday. Um, so take a look at the details in Harvest Happenings there. Uh, another quick announcement that the Nicaragua... All right, we're doing that one. Um, okay, <laughs> the, <laughs> the, <laughs> the Nicaragua um, mission trip, the uh, due date for applications is coming up on May 1st. So... Um, if you are interested in going down to Nicaragua in November slash December, um, go to Harvest Happenings, and the link for that application is in there. Jump on there, and uh, we'd love to receive your application, and then we'll take ne next steps after that. Um, now, uh, we'll go to this amazing announcement. We have so much to celebrate today. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Garrett and Stacy Hyma officially adopted Emery uh, back last week and uh, April 17th, right? So um, we want to celebrate with them and congratulate them uh, with a little bit of a just a hangout after service today. There will be cake and refreshments. So uh, please stay around, um, get those, uh, just hang out with them, celebrate with them, and, and uh, just praise the Lord with them. Uh, just a quick note on that, if you have kids and harvest kids, please go get your kids first and then go and enjoy the celebration. All right, uh, lastly, we've got giving. Um, this is for anyone that calls Harvest Home. If you're a visitor with us, there's no obligation to give. But there's a couple ways to give on the screen. The ushers are going to come down the aisle to collect the in-person offering. Uh, this is an offering to the Lord. We want to worship Him in all the ways He's told us to worship today. So uh, let's pray, and then we'll continue on in our service. Father, we thank You that... Um, that you are such a kind and gracious God, a generous God even, to send your son to die for us, to be buried, to raise again, to give us newness of life, a living hope, security in our eternal destination with you, the treasure of our hearts. And so Lord, Help us this morning to just give out of the generosity that you've given. In word and in deed, this morning is about you. And we give you glory and ask that you help our hearts to rest in you, to trust in you. And we fix our eyes on you that we may behold your glory today. So help us do that by the power of your spirit, by the power of your word, and by the amazing people around us that you've gifted us with. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, we're going to enter into a, another time of singing, and as we do, um, 
I want to pause and reflect on some lyrics uh, that we're about to sing a couple times. Sometimes when we sing songs, we uh, sing the lyrics that are up on the screen without truly thinking deeply about what's going on in those lyrics. And so I want to put some up here for us to highlight. This song is How Good Is He? And in the chorus, it says, The breath of Almighty before and behind me. So what does that mean? The breath of Almighty before and behind me. Well, the the breath of Almighty, if you look in Scripture, is often seen as the Spirit of God or the Word of God. And so if we look into Scripture, where do we see these lyrics, that these lyrics are true? And so we can turn to places like Isaiah 48 that says, The grass withers and the flower fades, but the word of our God will stand forever. Amen? Can you turn to a neighbor and just say that? The word of our God will stand forever. <laughs> that is an amazing truth that we need to cling to. It's, we have to cling to the fact that our God is an eternal God. And he has sent his word out to bless, to guide. It is a lamp unto our feet. But not only that, we read in John 1.14 that it says, And the word namely Christ, became flesh and dwelt among us. And we have seen his glory. Glory as the only son from the Father, full of grace and truth. And so Christ came to be with us and dwell among us as the word of God. And so, church, would you stand and let's worship him for how good he is, knowing that when we sing the breath of Almighty before and behind me, we're saying, God, you spoke in the beginning of time. Let there be light, and it is good. You entered into our world as the word becoming flesh. and You are the Alpha and Omega that will forever be, and the word of our God will stand forever. Amen? So let's stand. Let's sing. How good is he? Far beyond what eyes could ever see. Yet he stands in front of me. How good is he? He paints a canvas with a million stars Yet still he holds my heart wow. You are so good How good is he? And our Father in heaven The light of salvation Oh, how good is he? The good is he forgiveness isn't found by circumstance yes he's the god of second chance how good is he yeah. when a sinner's heart is all that i could bring oh still he welcomes me in heaven the light of salvation 
So we thank you, Lord. did another thing for me. He is all I'll ever need. Oh, how good is he?
Shout your praise. We call Abba Father, you are great. Great are you, Lord. 
Lord, thank you so much that you have invited us into your kingdom and that all the earth will shout your praise and that you have established your church and the gospel will ever go forth and give glory to you and and magnify your name and that we as your church can be a part of that amazing mission. And so we ask for help. We ask for transformation that we might look more and more like Christ as we worship and as we submit and as we obey. Help us to be surrendered to you today, trusting in you, arms open wide, saying, here I am, Lord, use me. Let that be true today. And we pray this in Jesus' name. And all the Lord's people said,